Hey Mike here from 28 Fish and today I'm doing a quick review of the Frog Tog wading boots. So what do fishermen do when they're not fishing? They buy fishing gear. I've been wanting some uh, wading boots for a while now ever since I bought these Hodgman uh, waders. I've been making it get by by using a uh, cheap pair of used sneakers I bought at uh, Value Village. It's pronounced Value Village. In a, a running shoe size, it was about size 13, where my feet are a size 9.5 to a 10. So for the Frog Togs wading boots, uh, you see in a lot of the comments below or the uh, questions to the manufacturer like hey what size am I supposed to have and a quick search of their website actually didn't yield a really clear picture of what size you should get. Um, some people said buy your shoe size for frog togs and that'll be your wading boot size. A lot of other wading boot companies where uh, they have a size chart that'll show you if you're a size 10 by a size 13 boot. So the confusion is really in the inconsistency amongst the different manufacturers. And because sometimes the waiter size makes a difference in the boot fit, these are Hodgman size XL. So I thought I best buy the size I have. So we got this set of uh, men's pilot guide wading shoes that have the ability to be cleated. Really happy with what they look like. Um, they don't have cleats, they have cleat uh, inserts, so you have to actually buy those separate. Just a little bag of basically sheet metal screws is what they are. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure you do order those and I will uh, do a little link in the description of these both. But this is a size 10. So the size 10 wading boots, for me, would be my normal shoe size. So let's just see how well they fit here. Perfectly. It actually feels really comfortable. So there you go. Perfect fit. My toes aren't moving around at all in the wading sock. Uh, the insole is very, very comfortable. I feel like I could walk around in these for, oh yeah, definitely put some miles on these boots. So they were about $108, I think, all in, which is actually not a terrible price for, uh, you know, an entry level boot. That's probably gonna last a long time. And the added bonus, I don't have to look like a clown anymore, walking around in a pair of running shoes and my wading gear, trying to be a fly fisher. Well, I hope that helped you from 28 Fish. If you're getting some wading boots, I'd recommend these. We'll see how they last over the next year or so, but they're very comfortable. And remember, just get your shoe size.